today I'm going to uh, present uh, the effect of uh, dysmenorrhea uh, on the academic performance among students studying in Princess Noura bint Abdurrahman University. Uh, I'm Dr. Ibtihal Bukhari, a consultant and assistant professor uh, in uh, Princess Noura University. Uh, and uh, I'm a consultant in obstetric and gynecology, uh, specialized in uh, gynae oncology. Um, actually, uh, the, the, the study was affiliated by Princess Noura bint Abdurrahman University in Riyadh. Uh, and it was published in International jo Journal of Medicine in Developing Countries uh, on 7th of July, 2021. Uh, these are my co-workers that worked with me, uh, Dr. Hanan, and the rest of the participants were students. Um, I just want to give you a brief idea about our university. Uh, Princess Noura University is the first and the largest uh, female uh, university in the world. Um, it, it was built uh, on a very big landmark, uh, about three, uh, 30 million uh, square meters. And uh, it consists of uh, more than 20 uh, mini universities inside and colleges. Uh, among them, 10 uh, colleges were uh, related to uh, health uh, uh, sector, and the rest of them are divided among the architecture, uh, law universities, and all these, uh, and, and all other different aspects of, of, of uh, specialities. Um, we have uh, a lot of students in our university. Uh, total number of students is about 60,000 uh, students and more than uh, 70,000 workers. Uh, these are certain pictures of my university and this is one of the colleges uh, which is related to uh, all of our students were female uh, students. So uh, when we realized that uh, we, when we were uh, teaching our students, we noticed that uh, most of the students have uh, absence, have uh, uh, an effect uh, of dysmenorrhea on their academic performance. And when we looked to the literature, there were no, um, no specific uh, studies uh, that was conducting uh, among the effect of dysmenorrhea on on uh, the on the uh, uh, academic performance and related to Saudi universities. Um, for introduction, I'll just rely on some definitions and some um, uh, points about the dysmenorrhea. You know that the dysmenorrhea is a common problem uh, occurs in young women, and they they affect the several. Uh, um, aspects of their daily activity and academic performance has uh, a great implementation or impact on, uh, on it. Uh, the present study was done to assess the effect of dysmenorrhea, especially primary dysmenorrhea, on students who had, uh, who had academic uh, studies. Uh, and, uh, uh, and when we uh, looked upon the literatures in Saudi Arabia, there were only few studies uh, that was conducted. Uh, the prevalence uh, among the university uh, students, it's ranged from 41 to 89% uh, in different regions worldwide. Uh, the resultant pain was related uh, in as, a, as in severe form in about five to 20% of the girls. Uh, <clears throat> identifying an investigation, investigating the modifiable factors that will affect the academic performance uh, will, uh, will, was the tailor a specific program to raise the student's awareness and to start the relevant management plan accordingly. This was our aim uh, for this study. 
Uh, the study was carried out in Saudi Arabia, have primary focus in epidemiology aspects, rather than the effect of the dysmenorrhea on academic performance. Most of the studies were done due to, for the um, uh, for um, academic for for epidemiological aspects rather than uh, academic performance. So this study is a descriptive cross-sectional survey. Okay, uh, and uh, it was uh, based on uh, conduct uh, based on um, uh, Princess Noura University, including female students in uh, Princess Noura. Uh, the structure of uh, the um, of the study was uh, a, a well-formed questionnaire uh, that was held uh, to the student. And the questionnaire has five main domains. We'll come to that. The participants were undergraduate students. Uh, they have experienced dysmenorrhea uh, um, during their life. And uh, the inclusion criteria was uh, undergraduates. Uh, and the exclusion criteria was secondary dysmenorrhea and the one who had not completed the questionnaire. Our sample size was calculated by G Power uh, to be 500 students divided equally into a non health and the health colleges. The aim of distributing these questionnaires in both uh, groups, because we want to, uh, uh, to, to evaluate the, the health uh, uh, colleges, the knowledge of the students in health colleges among the non-healthy, non, um, uh, non-health college. Uh, so uh, uh, the, uh, we, we uh, distributed the, the, uh, the questionnaire who has five domains and it has 42 items, including the socio-demographic uh, characteristics, characteristics, characteristics of menstrual uh, cycle, uh, pain in students, uh, characteristic of the acad academic uh, performance, including the abstinence, uh, the loss of concentration, the sleepness during the lecture, completing their homeworks, uh, and a reduction in the phys physical activity and the relationship between them and between their friends and between their, uh, uh, their families. Uh, Self-care categories uh, to elevate the pain also was evaluated, uh, including uh, using the analgesia, herbal uh, remedies, or uh, massage, or application of the hot compression, and using uh, different uh, medications like uh, oral contraceptive to reduce the uh, pain. Uh, a visual analog scale was used to calculate uh, the menstrual pain in, uh, intensity, uh, which was ranging from zero to 10. Zero is no pain and 10 is very severe pain. The pain was further categorized as mild, moderate, and severe. The question, questionnaire validity was initially tested on 20 students as a pilot study. Uh, the deficient factor and the predictor of poor academic uh, performance were analyzed by uh, a univariant or multivariant logistic regression analysis. Uh, the coming tables will, uh, will show you the results. Uh, among, uh, among our study, uh, we realized that most of the uh, patient who had severe or students who had severe pain were above 20. Um, most of them were health science colleges. Uh, they were single, uh, 12, between 12 to 15 years of age. And uh, most of the pain comes during the first three to seven days of the menstrual cycle. Uh, they used about six to seven pads and they're, most of them, they have regular menses and they have no any gynecological disease. The onset of pain, uh, most of the students, they have pain 
before uh, the uh, before the onset of menstrual cycle, uh, which will last uh, uh, to uh, three to uh, seven days. Uh, they disappear uh, with the beginning of menstrual cycle. Most of the students, they have a disappearance of the uh, pain uh, uh, before the third day of the menstrual cycle. The duration of the pain is uh, uh, most of them they have during the first and the second day. This is for a severe form of, uh, of uh, the um, dysmenorrhea. Other symptoms, uh, we evaluated uh, uh, vomiting, nausea, and headache. Most of the students, they have uh, weakness, fatigability, uh, then uh, headache, then uh, nausea and vomiting, uh, uh, which has least uh, symptoms. Most of the students, they, don't, uh, they did not use any oral contraceptives. Uh, they change... Uh, uh, they have no change uh, after the marital status. Uh, and uh, they have also no change after childbearing. Uh, 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 most of the students, they don't have, they didn't get married. Uh, so these two factors was not, uh, was tested only the, the, on the females that, that got married. Uh, so our results, we obtained the academic performance in regards to the absence on, uh, and uh, reduction of concentration, obtaining low exam grades, falling asleep during exam, submitting incomplete homeworks, reduction of the physical activity, impairment in the relationship with the friends and family members. So when we uh, analyze them, uh, we find that most of the students, they have uh, a reduction in the concentration. Uh, they have a reduction in activity uh, in, uh, in comparison with other uh, symptoms. So we concluded that 92% uh, of females who uh, who is uh, complaining of primary dysmenorrhea, they will uh, experience reduction in the uh, academic performance in form of reduction in concentration, uh, having more sleep during lecture, failure to submit their homeworks and reduction in the physical activity uh, and, uh, and in a relationship with, with other friends. Uh, and uh, in regards to the severity of the, of the pain, uh, most of them, they have uh, moderate to severe pain. Uh, the, uh, uh, we concluded that this study will improve uh, the university uh, education and awareness regarding the menstrual pain and to improve their uh, their perception about uh, the pain and how to uh, how to um, uh, solve it and how to reduce it by uh, by educating the pro uh, the process of uh, reduction uh, on 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 um, on uh, the severity of the pain. Hello, Ibtiha. We are not hearing Ibtiha again. Hello, hello. hello. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So most of the students uh, who had uh, moderate and severe pain, they were not aware of uh, of the using good amount of analgesia, especially in non-health uh, colleges. And um, they were uh, thinking that they don't need to take the uh, certain amount of analgesia for their severe pain, 
since it is uh, since it is uh, their normal physiology. So this study improved their education, improved their knowledge and awareness about how to treat uh, uh, dysmenorrhea and how to reduce their uh, pain. So uh, the report, uh, the reported prevalence. Now we compared between our study and between the studies that happened in Saudi Arabia or uh, and also in other uh, countries. So the reported prevalence of dysmenorrhea among the female students was about 60% among the medical students in Jeddah, 70% in Abha, uh, 85% in the Mam, and 88% in Jov. Similarly, the other countries, 51% in Asia countries, 71% in Africa, 89% in Europe. And globally, the, um, uh, the uh, uh, globally, it was uh, 71% uh, uh, in different uh, countries. So we concluded that uh, the prevalence of, of uh, dis uh, primary dif dysmenorrhea is uh, very high. And uh, it was, uh, uh, it was, um, uh, it was uh, affected by a lot of, uh, a, a lot of uh, factors like social cultural factors, ethnic characteristic, uh, discrepancies in lifestyle uh, factors that will affect the, uh, the, the treatment of uh, dysmenorrhea. Uh, also, our study showed the risk missing uh, uh, risk of missing the lecture was more significant uh, in students with severe dysmenorrhea. So we have implemented a new uh, a new uh, scale uh, to reduce uh, their abstinence. Uh, also, we advise these students to seek a health care for pain relief, if necessary, to uh, avoid unwanted delay in therapeutic interventions, particularly those with secondary pathological conditions, such as uterine fibroids and endometriosis with pelvic inflammatory disease. We encourage to report these symptoms during the menstruation and targeted awareness programs to initiate uh, the discussion of how to treat the dysmenorrhea in these adolescent women. Uh, decision makers are advised to implement screening programs for detection of uh, dysmenorrhea among young uh, ladies.